Hey guys, welcome to our key tutorials. In this video, we will see how to enlist different areas of different regions in AutoCAD using field command and how it is very useful and so much easier than using any other command. So let's begin. So for the first file, the units are set to millimeters. And if you're familiar with the other commands to find area such as area, it does give you area of any region, but uh, you'll have to use the calculator again to specify it in square meters or square feet. Same goes for the command list. It does give you the area, the parameter and the x and y coordinates of any region or uh, polyline. So this is where we should be using the field command instead. So first off, let's just copy this text select and use the shortcut control f to actually go to the field command and from here we should uh, go to objects press o objects select the object and this gives you a preview of the area but that is in mm scale right now so go to additional format and here you see a conversion factor you can copy all these conversion factors from the description of the video. So to change this into square meter, you have to enlist 0.5 times 0, 0.01. This will to change millimeter square into square meter. And press OK. So this gives you a preview. You can set the precision. Press OK. And there you have it. It's pretty handy because if I just try to uh, change the polyline, rather readjust the size, let me just get the ortho on. And regenerate, this does change the area. So it changes automatically, you don't have to do anything. So let's try this with the region here first off let's just define the boundary so for that i'm going to create a line where the door should come so for this part i can actually enlist the area just turn the layers off and go to the boundary command bo and define boundary that is done by polyline and this polyline basically defines the boundary of this region so if i just select the text choose the shortcut control f select this object the polyline of course unit set to decimal additional format and this time i'm going to be converting this into square feet so for that let's just copy this conversion factor copy paste it right here and the suffix square feet press ok and it's done 516.48 square feet let's do this again for uh, the area in square meter just press ctrl f select the object go to additional format and the conversion factor is 0.5 times 0 01 suffix square meter okay so it, it does give me the area in square meters so now even if i try to change this polyline this of this region for that just let me just uh, delete the vortex from here okay from here and regenerate the area also changes so this is how it's done using a field command and it's very very handy and remember this is the file is in millimeters one thing more you could do if you have the hatch defined of any region you can even select the hatch rather than creating a polyline so here if i just go with the shortcut control f go to object and instead select this hatch 
so now the hatch is selected go to area so it gives me the area of the hatch that the hatch covers so from the additional format you can just type in the conversion factor square meter press ok and we're done so for the second file that is set in the units meters let me just select use the shortcut control f go to the field command select the object the polyline additional format and for meters square meters the conversion factor will be one Press OK. For square feet, just go to a shortcut control F, select the object, additional format, and copy the conversion factor. Again, this is in the description that you should copy. Copy the conversion factor for square feet. Paste this right here, suffix square feet. And it's done. Press OK. So that's a pretty easy way to calculate areas of any defined region. So that way you can actually define areas for different regions and any, uh, anything you're designing or uh, the project you're working on. You can place your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to like or subscribe to our channel.